So it is going to be Cheppy as a last second replacement lock of the week. There's a lot of pop Three rounds Spons we go Jeff to the scorecards. Here are the totals. Judge Bell, 29-28, Mariscal. Bird scores it 30-27, Shahier. And Judge Colon has it 29-28 for your winner. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Oh, H to the OV. I used to move snowflakes by the OZ. I guess even back then you can call me CEO of the ROC. Ho, fresh out the fire pan into the fire. I beat up. Music man's number one supplier. In a piece of paper bearing my name my Got the hottest chick in the game Wearing my chain, that's my right oh, oh, Not D.O.C. But similar to them my letters No one could do it better I check cheddar like a food inspector My homie Strick told me, dude, finishing breakfast So that's what I'ma do Take you back to the dude with the Lexus Are you Morgan Sherry, eh, people? Right here for your dumb ass Talk to it, talk to it <sighs> We making money now Like the stream! What is going on, guys? Welcome back to We One Picks. My name is Jacob, aka the Freckled Salamander, here to bring you my lock of the week for UFC 300. If you guys are new to lock of the week, what this is is quite simply every single week I pick one underdog that I believe in my mind is going to win with 100% certainty. And we have now won two in a row, three of the last four, just when everyone counted us out, right? Everyone that thinks they're a stock genius, right? And they get in, they buy the crypto but they're selling low they're buying high they don't know what to do same people are doing the same thing the lock of the week you guys know the lock of the week it goes up it goes down and it is pretty streaky we had lost four in a row people gave up on it now we have won three of four lock of the week i think is up almost four units on the year in totality is up almost 30 units everyone that sits here and wants to talk shit about whatever save it because we got the data to back it up but before we get into this week's lock of the week we saw cheppy last week came in with a fucking vengeance in that third round smoked him won the first won the third wasn't even close of a decision was it 30 27 morgan get this guy the fuck out of here make sure you like the video by the way subscribe if you are new and as always consider going to wewantpicks.com. Become a premium member today. It supports everything that the channel does, the lock of the week, the live streams. By the way, we will be live for UFC 300 to watch lock of the week live in front of everybody with you guys. We had almost a 1,000 people on the live stream Saturday, and I cannot wait to stream the entire UFC 300 card. But make sure you go to wewantpicks.com, become a premium member today. It's only $10 a month, and I'm telling you right now, if you're not even a premium member this week, if you've never liked the video before, this week, UFC 300 is the week to like this video and subscribe because this is one of the best edits I have ever put together. And I'm going to put it on my Instagram as well. So make sure you follow me at JT underscore lines. I'm going to put it on my Instagram. We're going to tag this fighter and get them involved in this video. I am so proud of this edit. So hopefully you guys enjoy as well. And without further ado, the lock of the week for UFC 300 is none other than That's why me and you guys are different. You should you should be you willing to fight anybody. And I'm sick and tired of everybody telling me what I gotta think, how I do, putting a putting a limit on me. Think I care? That's why a lot of fighters is cut from a different cloth. Bring it on, brother.
So there you have it. The UFC 300 lock of the week is Max Blast Halloween. You heard him in that video, man. This dude is fucking determined. <laughs> this, dude, this dude is determined. You see that little edge building up in Max Holloway coming in against Justin Gagey. People forget this dude's an absolute fucking dog. Absolute fucking animal. Do people forget a few years ago when Khabib needed a, a, an opponent on five days notice? Who the fuck stepped up and said that they were gonna win that fight max holloway max holloway stepped up to fight fucking khabib and now he has all this time in the world to prepare for 155 justin gagey who's gonna be winging shots i know justin gagey hits hard i think it's a little bit overrated he swings harder than he hits hard right dustin poirier hits hard in the pocket with regular combinations justin justin gagey is swinging wild to hit hard i, just, I know he's got the leg kicks Right? He's probably going to touch up the leg of Max Holloway. Max Holloway can, can switch stances. He knows the footwork. He's a tough son of a bitch. He's going to be in this fight. I want to go back to the, the Dustin Poirier Max Holloway fight. Max got beat up a little bit early. Wasn't fully prepared for a 155 fight. But Dustin Poirier is a better boxer than Justin Gagey. And Dustin Poirier is a five-round boxer. Can do that for five rounds. Was able to do it. Max Holloway still outstruck Dustin, Dustin Poirier four out of those five rounds. The last time that Justin Gagey fought like an actual like boxer boxer... Right, because you know Fizzy is like a Muay Thai guy who started to brawl with him a little bit more. And doesn't is a boxer, but a little bit more flashy. I think that Max Holloway can survive whatever Justin Ga D Justin Gagey is going to have in the first or two round, first or second round, and then it's going to turn into a Max Holloway fight. Volume, 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 volume. And if Justin Gagey thinks that maybe he can go to the wrestling at some point, which you haven't never really seen, you can see that uh, Max Holloway engaged in the grappling as well. I wouldn't even be surprised if Max Holloway, the game plan for Max Holloway. Might be to try and force some wrestling early. Let's take some air out of the lungs of Justin Gagey early. Let's press. Let's force the pressure. Get him against the fence. I don't think that's going to happen. BMF title. Max Holloway's going to come in. He's going to try and box this guy, and he's going to outbox Justin Gagey to the fucking win. Hold that belt over his head, and we are going to win three in a row and four of our last five for lock of the week. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video, man. I put a ton of time into that. I loved how it came out. If you do enjoy lock of the week, the chance in general make sure you become a premium member like the video subscribe if you are new we're gonna be live saturday for the entire live stream so make sure you join me let's see if we can get those numbers uh pump those numbers up to over 2,000 live viewers we'll see how it goes i can't wait thank you guys so much for being a part of this journey this channel everything involved lock of the week usc 300 i'm out of here my name's jacob i think i said that out of order i'm out peace